way. Before I get more into my morning routine, I wanted to come up on here and thank BetterHelp for sponsoring today's video. As you guys could tell, today's video is going to be all about my morning routine, pregnant. I'm currently over 17 weeks pregnant, and I definitely realized during my pregnancy that it is very important to take care of yourself, and that means taking care of your mental health because pregnancy can be very anxiety ridden, it can also be lonely at times, and it can be a scary process, especially if you really don't know anyone going through the same thing as you at the same time in your little circle, it can be very lonely. So it's very important to take care of your mental health and being May, May is Mental Health Awareness. I thought this was necessary to share. If you guys don't know, BetterHelp is the world's largest therapy service and it's 100% online which I find to be super convenient. With BetterHelp, you can tap into a large network with over 30,000 licensed and experienced therapists that can help you with a wide range of issues. And to get started with BetterHelp, it is super simple. All you have to do is answer a few questions about your needs and also your preference in therapy, and they will help to set you up with the appropriate therapist. And then once you're all set up, you can talk to your therapist in whichever way you feel more comfortable, whether that's text, chat, video call, or even phone call, which I really like, especially if you're kind of just new into therapy, um, you might be a little bit nervous, so you could choose which route is the best for you. You can message your therapist at any time, and you can also go ahead and schedule live sessions whenever it's convenient for you. And if you just find the therapist isn't a right fit for you, you can go ahead and switch your therapist at no additional cost. And what I really love about BetterHelp is that you're still gonna get that same professionalism experience and quality that you would get in office therapy but with a custom picked therapist for you more affordability and also more convenient scheduling but better help was actually nice enough to provide me with a discount code to give to you guys so if you use the code betterhelp.com nicoletta that will give you 10 percent off of your first month i will of course have everything linked down below in the description box so make sure to go check that out really important to keep on track of your mental health and if you're going through anything or you just kind of feel like you're lonely or you need someone to talk to i totally recommend better help for therapy Therapy because it's really important to take action and to make sure that you are staying on track not only with your physical health but your mental health is so so important so with that being said let's just jump right back into the morning routine Good morning guys. Today I'm bringing you guys along my morning routine. I am currently over 17 weeks pregnant so I wanted to bring you guys along and share with you everything I've been doing. I wanted to kind of share with you my self-care, how I've been taking care of myself mentally and physically and just little things that have been helping me. If you guys have been watching my recent videos, my first trimester was definitely rough. I had really bad morning sickness and all day nausea and I'm happy to say I'm finally out of that. As you guys saw, I just woke up, I took out my puppy Naxos, and now I'm just going ahead and doing my hygiene routine. And one thing that I definitely struggled with at the beginning of my pregnancy is I started getting really bad breakouts. And I think I'm finally on the mend where it's starting to slowly clear up. And I think I found the perfect regimen. So I'm gonna share with you guys what I've been using to help with pimples and acne because pregnancy acne has been no joke. I have been getting really bad like cystic pimples and it's been really, really lovely. Starting first, I am going with my favorite cleanser. If you guys have never tried this and you have sensitive skin or acne prone skin, try it. I repurchased this like a million times. It's the Inky List salicylic acid cleanser. It's super gentle on your skin, and I just find this always is really great for helping acne-prone skin. I'm just going in with my ordinary niacinamide 10% and zinc 1% and I just go ahead and apply that all over before I apply my creams. I just find this is a lifesaver for 
acne prone skin, if you have pores and all of that. It has so many benefits. I did do a whole video on my ordinary skincare routine a while ago, so I'll link that above. I will link all the products I do mention down below, but all of my products that I mention are super affordable. If you are curious, at nighttime, I go in with the Ordinary Salicylic 2% solution and apply this onto my face, and I find this works wonders for acne prone skin. Once that goes ahead and dries, I'm going to then go with my e.l.f. skin hydro gel moisturizer. I love this line from e.l.f. It's super hydrating. Sometimes moisturizers will break me out, I've noticed, but this one's really great. I also tried the one that's in the jar, the holy hydration one that I ran out of, and I loved that one too. It's like a gel consistency and it's so cooling and hydrating on the skin. Now that I went ahead and moisturized my face, I'm gonna share with you what I've been putting on my belly to hydrate it, to try and avoid stretch marks as much as possible while my belly is growing. Two products that I've been loving to use on my belly, and I usually use these ones in the morning. The first one is Attitude Natural Skincare Blooming Belly, and it's just a stretch oil, almond, and argan. I really love this. I bought both of these off Amazon, but I will try to link them down below. And then I also love the Palmer's Cocoa Butter Formula Tummy Butter for stretch marks. This one comes in a little tub. So I'm gonna go ahead and just lotion up my belly. Another thing I've also been doing is I've been making sure to also lotion my chest because you can also get stretch marks on your chest and I feel like a lot of us forget to lotion there. So I went ahead and finished my makeup. Super simple, I don't really do too, too much. It takes me about five to 10 minutes. Now I'm gonna head downstairs and make some breakfast and feed my little guy. I definitely need food in my belly. Naxos eating breakfast too. My go-to breakfast lately has been oatmeal. I just find that this is really filling. It's full of fiber, which has been helping me a lot. I need something like hearty in the morning because if I have something light, eventually I'll end up getting really nauseous and dizzy, like I need another meal. So I find that oatmeal is really great. I just went ahead and threw some plain old fashioned oats. I put some chia seeds for some more omega-3, and then I went ahead and put cut up an apple and then just sprinkled a little bit of honey on top, and it is just super filling. And of course, I've been following up and trying to drink as much water as possible. With my breakfast, I always go ahead and take my prenatals. There are so many on the market, but this is the one that I've been taking. It is called Can Prev Prenatal Multi Woman. I believe this is a Canadian brand. Um, so yeah, I have two in the morning and then two in the evening, usually with my dinner. So I'm gonna go ahead and eat this and then I'm gonna catch you guys up once I am done. Okay, so I went ahead and just changed my outfit. I just have this tie-dye pink, blue, and white t-shirt because I am going to be doing a workout. But for now, I just threw on this cardigan that I actually got on Amazon. I did an Amazon haul recently, so I'm gonna link that above and have it down below. And of course, on the bottom, we got my leggings. So this has been my typical 
outfit that I just lay around in at home, just throw on some leggings, a baggy t-shirt, or dresses. It's like either or I find to be the most comfortable right now. I'm gonna go ahead and do a quick workout. I try to work out at least five times a week, but if I can't do a day, I'm not too hard on myself, but I at least try to go out for a walk because I do take out my dog for a walk anyway, so it's just kind of a good way for me to get my steps in. But for workouts during pregnancy, I've just been doing a lot more light workouts. I've still been doing grow with Joe, like walking workouts on YouTube, which I'm gonna do today. And then I also sometimes will go downstairs and do some weights, but I do really light weights and do it more for toning. Less weights, but higher reps. I'm gonna go ahead and turn on one of grow with Joe's walking workouts. And then I'll probably go ahead and have lunch because after I work out, I need to eat like immediately because I'll start getting nauseous. So I definitely need to put something in my belly once I'm done this workout. For some lunch hip especially when you're pregnant and just always I feel like have lunch prepped so I went ahead and prepped my salads all yesterday so I cut everything up I also have chicken that I'm gonna throw into my salad for some protein I've been back to eating salads for lunch and it's just a great way to get your veggies in and just get a bunch of healthy things in trying to eat as healthy as possible of course you want to try to eat as healthy as possible but of course sometimes it can be a struggle when you're pregnant especially if you're nauseous or you're having food aversions which I am happy to say that most of my food aversions are gone I am back to regular eating like I did before I was pregnant. Let's make the salad. I also have a side of two pickles with my salad, if that is not pregnancy, I don't know what is. I just crave pickles during this pregnancy. Let me know what your pregnancy cravings were. I might actually go ahead and go to my office and edit while I eat. I'm just gonna probably end it off with taking my dog for a walk to get a few more extra steps in. Later on today, I definitely have to meal prep and do all that. So if you guys wanna see more of a day in the life video, let me know. But I like to just have food on hand in the fridge. I find it really, really helpful, especially when I get nauseous or you know, you're really, really tired some days and you just don't wanna do anything. It's really nice to have things prepped that are healthy in the fridge. I'm gonna go ahead and eat my pickle and my salad. My morning routine 17 weeks pregnant I hope you guys enjoyed watching like I said I will have better help down below and I will have my discount code betterhelp.com slash Nicoletta that will give you 10% off of your first month don't forget to click the subscribe button I do post every single week and I will catch you guys in my next video bye